Um, I'm gonna ask right away. Um, I think it's really good that uh, Infinite Crisis has a refer a friend um, system. Do you think that they will maybe increase the rewards to kind of uh, bolster that process? So what we're trying to do is just find a lot of good options that will allow you to be like, hey, you should come play this game. You can actually kind of let them go on a little bit of autopilot so they can learn some of the basic mechanics before you then bring the man with you to play at whatever your matchmaking rank is, which can sometimes result in your friend feeding relentlessly and you just being sad. But hey, it's part of the game. <laughs> Could you elaborate or expand on what uh, Turbine is going to be doing for the new players coming on board? Specifically, new players, what we're going to do is we're going to take our tutorial experience and really just blow the thing wide open. So our goal is to use that tutorial experience and that new player experience to teach you everything you need to know. And then it's up to the player to individually master each of the characters that we have. Is there going to be more story-driven tutorial missions coming later on? Yes. There's going to be a lot more story coming on, actually. More information about the backstory of what Infinite Crisis is, probably tying together a lot of the comics, if you, know, if you guys have read any of those as well. Um, but we'll also be doing a whole facelift of pretty much everything that surrounds our game. Like, my goal is for September, the game should feel like it is a completely new game. How soon in the future can we expect a matchmaking for Coast City? We are, we're talking about actually doing Coast City weekends soon. And you'll just be able to hop in the queue and be matchmade right there. The thing that's most important about that map is you really need to make sure that your top lane and your bottom lane are really on the same page because when, when the Raiders when the raider appears there, controlling that raider early is really important. But really, the game is decided by the power lay control, and then eventually by the doomsday device control. I love Ghost City. It was, you know, it was the second map we ever did, and it is definitely a unique Infinite Crisis style of map. So I'm, I'm super excited to see it turned on because I just want to see what people are doing with it again. What do the players have to look forward to in the next two months before September? You would expect that we're going to be doing balance patches at a faster rate than ever before. So what you can expect is a lot more uh, champion tweaks, and you can also expect to see some changes to our artifact system. You know, that's what I think you can expect to see over the next few patches until we get to September. Is there a possibility that you guys will be adding uh, spectator mode and things like that so players can feel more involved, invested into the team, and watching the entire experience of our games? Our goal is to make it so that we actually have at least like a more of a we had a featured kind of view match aspect and just the ability to let more and more people gain access to it. Like possibly up to and including like allowing pretty much anyone to view match a custom match if, they, if they're the one who forms it. That way in that world, you have a bunch of people who can set up a custom match. If you want to like effectively sponsor that, you can do that. And then any streamer anywhere could actually set that up as long as they talk to the appropriate team or you know just all talked about it. What is the plan to improve the matchmaking system? So there are a few different plans to improve the matchmaking system. Uh, some of which you're probably going to see in, in an upcoming patch, just to make it faster. Uh, some of which are more of just uh, the concept of trying to actually make it a bit more dynamic. So I also think that the new player experience of just getting the games be stickier and friendlier will also help matchmaking because matchmaking often suffers from a lack of number of people in queue that are within a certain band. Um, additionally, I think that the you know once we get to that point, we can also have different queues so that you'll actually have Elo impacting. Just I want to jump in and have a fun match, but that won't impact that one as much as it will in case where it's like I want to jump into a ranked match, and that ranked match is very much a don't put me in a match that is that isn't roughly equivalent to my Elo. Like so, those are three separate things we're we're going to be doing in order to try to improve the matchmaking experience. The queue times at night, late at night, because of the player base, it can be they can be somewhat, you know, lengthy. Do you guys think you might do anything like increase merit gains or anything like that to kind of uh, possibly incentivize people to play at nighttime? And we're we're gonna be trying to push on using events to kind of massage those things around. We've even tossed around the idea of actually granting just merit based off of you being in queue for a little longer, but. I don't know. I'm not certain what we'll end up doing with that one, to be honest with you. How do you feel about an opportunity for somebody to click on a random map and the the next queue spot available for the next map they'll just be thrown into if they just say, I don't I don't want to play anything that's available and they'll just click a button mm. and say play anything. So yes, the quick match button. We we're we're big fans of the quick match button actually. Because yeah, in that world yeah. it's like I just wanna play I just wanna play IC. I don't even yeah, care yeah. if it's got mites, got invited, go see, uh, whatever it is, just put me in a match because <laughs> I yeah. just I just want to get into a game. Yes, we're big fans of the quick match button. I think that 
that is one of the things that you will see probably not for September, but past that. Because really our goal right now is to get all the functionality we have in September working in this whole new looking experience. Uh, but once that's done and kind of locked down, we're a big fan of like match. Because really, I'm all I'm a big fan of letting you hit one button and be able to jump into a game if that's what you want to do. I mean, if you want to, if you're one of those people who's like, I'm only die hard divided, that's fine. Like then you will go in queue for divided. And same thing for heights. But if you're one of those people who will kind of ping pong back and forth, like whatever your mood suits you, I want you to have a button that literally is just like play now and you go. Yeah. So. Yes, you can expect to see that feature. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you time for to talk to us. That, yeah. That's been awesome. No problem, guys. Good luck in the trials. Thank you. Thank you.